I will not let the manor fall into mortal hands. The Countess will avenge me! I've been expecting you. Come. Let us find a more comfortable place to chat. No need to be on edge. As you can see, my guards have been instructed to treat you as a guest. You will enjoy my hospitality, so long as you remain receptive to what I have to say. Please, take a seat. You came here with the intent of stealing my medallion. No need to deny it. I am just stating the known facts. I am grateful we have this chance at civilized discourse, since stealing from an aristocrat could find you making atonement. Or worse. But please, eat. Let us not speak of such heinous crimes. Do you dare ignore my hospitality? You have no need to steal anything. In fact, I am prepared to give you my medallion. You see, the medallion is powerful, yes, but it is not my sole source of influence. The role I play in this society is a crucial one. All I ask is that you take the time to learn a bit about what I do, and the medallion will be yours. It really is quite that simple. You have my ear. Till we leave the same way you entered. We cannot risk others discovering our partnership. You know nothing of the matters you meddle in. The Countess will fall! Has the Countess really sent a mortal to do her bidding? My death will not delay our plan. You have my ear. Going so soon? You will not leave here alive. I hope you are not enjoying my hospitality too much. There is work to be done, after all. Until we... Of course. Meet. House Sourwine. Chancellor Zelma leads them. Find her, and enact immediate justice. A Venthyr that consorts with mortals is not fit to lead. I will finish what Andre started. In the Master's name. My house will prevail. You have my ear. Be well. Until we meet again, Moor Walker. I look upon you and dare to feel hope. <laughs> 